In this video, we will discuss about mass and weight. A quick recall, the mass of a body is the absolute quantity of matter in it. It is usually expressed in kilograms sa SA units at pounds naman sa English system of units. While weight is the force of gravity or Fg into a body, in other words, yung weight tumutukoy siya sa force with which the mass of an object is pulled down dahil sa gravity. For example, Yung mass natin sa moon at sa earth ay pareho, pero mag-iiba yung weight natin according to the gravitational pull exerted by the moon or earth. Kaya, the mass never changes with place, but the weight does. Do you remember this formula? W is equal to mg. This formula tells us that the weight is equal to the product of the mass and the acceleration due to gravity. But instead of using W is equal to mg, in thermodynamics, we will use the following general formula. That is m over k equals f or force over acceleration equals fg or force due to gravity over g. And this is the formula that we will use instead of W equals to mg where Fg stands for your gravitational force, M is your mass, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and K is your proportionality constant. Kung mapapansin natin, from the formula W is equal to Mg, yung K lang yung nadagdag. Yung K, siya ay pares ng numerical value sa G at sea level, pero hindi siya yung acceleration of gravity. Rather, yung K natin, siya ay isang proportionality constant na ginagamit in order to facilitate the use of Newton's second law of motion. A review of the systems of units Makukuha natin yung unit ng K from the formula of K itself na K is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity over the force. And using the CGS system or centimeter gram second system, ang K ay 980.66 gram mass centimeters over gram for second squared. And using MKS system or meter kilogram second system, K is 9.8066 kilogram mass meters over kilogram for second squared. At sa FPS system or foot pound second system, K is 32.174 pound mass feet over pound for second squared. Now, let's try to solve some problems involving mass and weight. Number one, the weight of an object is 50 pounds. What is its mass at standard condition? Let's write all of the given first. Binigay yung weight ng object, which is Fg is equal to 50 pounds. At binanggit din at standard condition. So, G is equal to... Remember, we are using the FPS or foot pound second system of units. Kaya ang G natin ay may value na 32.174 feet per second squared. And we are required to find the mass at standard condition. So that is M. And the equation that we will use for this problem from Fg is equal to mg over k, we can derive the formula for mass, which is mass is equal to the force due to gravity times proportionality constant over g. So solving this problem, I will rewrite our equation. m is equal to, we need Fg and that is given, which is 50 pounds times k na same value dun sa g natin which is 32.174 magkaiba lang ng unit which is pound mass feet over pound fourth second squared pound mass pound fourth all over G, which is 
0.174 feet per second squared and now we can all cancel the same units we have feet second squared and di natin to nalagyan so it's always important to identify it as pound force or pound mass so we will know what we will cancel and that is pound force and we are left with pound mass which is what we need and makakancel na rin natin yung 32.174 so we have our answer for number 1 the answer, the mass at standard condition is equal to 50 pound mass. And that's our answer for number one. Let's go to the second problem. Number two, what is the mass in grams and the weight in gram force and in dynes of 12 ounces of salt? Local G is 9.65 meters per second squared. One pound mass is equal to 16 ounces. So, let uli natin lahat ng given. So, binigay yung mass, which is 12 ounce. And yung local G. G is equal to 9.65 meters per second squared. And yung conversion between pound mass and ounce, which is 1 pound mass, is equivalent to 16 ounce. And now, we are required to find letter A, the mass in grams. Letter B, we have to find the weight in gram force. And letter C, we are required to find the weight but in dynes. And the equation that we will use for this problem is Fg is equal to mg over k, or your force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity all over the proportionality constant. And solving A first, we are asked to find the mass in grams. And given na yung mass, pero sa ounce nga lang. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, i-convert na lang natin siya. So, 12 ounce multiplied by the conversion between pound mass and ounce na binigay sa atin, times 1 pound mass over 16 ounce and we can now cancel the ounce and natira yung pound mass pero yung kailangan natin ay grams so we still need to convert it and I suggest na magprint kayo or mag save ng conversion table kasi gagamitin nyo talaga siya sa thermodynamics and looking at my conversion table Ito yung gagamitin ko. I will multiply it by 1 kilogram mass over 2.2046 pound mass. And I can cancel the pound mass. And kilogram mass pa rin siya. I still need to convert it. So multiply it by 1000 gram mass over 1 kilogram mass. And I can cancel the kilogram mass. And at last, we are left with the gram mass, which is what we need. And putting everything into our calculator, meron na tayong sagot for letter E. The mass in grams is 340.1978 or approximately 340.2 gram mass. And that's our answer for letter E. Let's go to letter B. We are asked to find the weight in gram force. So for B, I will rewrite our equation. Fg is equal to mg over k. Fg is equal to the mass. Remember, yung Kinagamit natin system of units is in CGS. Kaya yung mass natin, yung unit niya, kailangan in gram mass. E nakuha na natin yung value nyo sa letter A kanina. At yung value ay 340.2 gram mass. And yan yung gagamitin natin. Multiply by the G. And dahil CGS nga siya, kailangan centimeter. So move to decimal places. And G will be 965 centimeters per second squared. 
all over k, which is 980.66 gram mass, centimeters over gram force, second squared. And now, makakancel ulit natin yung mga c-minutes, gram mass, centimeters, second squared, and natira yung gram force, which is the right unit for our weight. And solving everything, computing this equation, our weight in gram force is equal to 334.7674, approximately 334.8 gram force. And that's your answer for letter B. Let's move on to letter C. We are asked to find the weight in dynes. At yung dynes, siya ay isang unit of force specified in the CGS system of units. And to answer C, and to find the weight in dynes, kailangan lang natin i-convert yung value na nakuha natin sa B kasi weight in gram force na yun. And yung value nyo ay 334.8 gram force. And using our conversion table, i-multiply ko na lang siya sa 980.66 dynes over 1 gram force. And makakancel ko yung gram force. And we are left with dynes. And we can now compute it. So we have our answer for letter C. Our weight in dynes, FG, is equal to 328,324.968 dines. And this is our answer for letter C.